all right welcome back i am so foolish girl welcome 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 i'm so happy to be back we have pile number one pile number two pile number three today we're using our intuition and choosing a pile that we feel intuitively drawn to all right trust your intuition choose more than one pile if you feel guided to always do what's led and take what resonates leave what doesn't okay so with that being said i feel like i'm i'm ready to get into pile number one yes yes and yes okay we got the clear quartz today for pile number one um let's just see how they feel um you know the time is you know the timing is off so don't push it okay we got mask not showing true feelings Hide personality, pretend, delude, gaslighting. Okay, I really don't feel like I need to read all of this because I'm channeling it so quick. They legit feel like you're, you are pissed off. You are pissed off because they play too many games. That's what I'm getting. And ready, we do have the ready card for pile number one. Um, I mean, just look at this image. This is just like, do you really want to play? They feel like it's going to go down. So when you are ignoring them, they might feel like, man, I need to back off. I need to chill out because this mother is crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> that's how they feel. They feel like. If they did something wrong, okay? Um, on the flip side, I am getting another vibe that just came through. They could feel like you're playing games and like you run away from your problems. I'm just gonna tell you straight up, they don't like it, okay? This is not the pile that it's like, it, it's okay. It's not okay with this person when you ignore them. This person is used to getting what they want and they're not getting it from you and so yeah it's kind of a problem yeah the four ones this person when you reject them it could make them possibly think of marriage um for some of you you could live with this person we do have the four ones okay um oh how do they feel when you ignore them who's this person how they feel when you ignore this communication with them, right? Um, okay. Honestly, they feel like you think you're all that. And I hate to say this, but for some of you, yeah, they might not like it. So then they go out and party, you know, they try to act like it's fine. But deep down inside, this person is definitely wearing a mask. Okay. If they, if they act like they're happy when you're gone, they're lying. We do have the six of wands, though. So I do kind of feel like this person feels seen, you know, when you ignore them. It's like, oh, you hear what I'm saying? Like, I'm a star. Like, I don't know. This person's giving me weirded out vibes, okay? I'm not even going to lie. Um... How do they feel when you ignore them? Maybe this person wants you to ignore them. Maybe you should just do it more often. I mean, <laughs> if it's if you feel like it's gaining some sort of respect with this timing is off, with this, with you know the timing is off, if you feel like it's gaining some sort of respect, then I would say, yeah, continue to ignore them. Um, oh my God, yes. Seven of feathers, seven of swords. This person, like... It, you make them feel so insecure and they could possibly think that you're doing something on the side like i'm hearing them be like oh you're supposedly you know the stand-up person with the six of candles the six of wands Ooh, 
you're, you're the stand-up person. Everybody loves you. You seem to have it going on. But then it's like there's something off about you. They feel like you're underhanded. They could feel like you intentionally do this to, like, get back at them. And so, yeah, in return, they might act like it's not a big deal. Like, your presence isn't felt. Especially if you... Okay, so many cards. This person has a lot of emotions. I'm also getting here, like, I am noticing this justice is kind of sticking out to me. This person feels like they deserve to be ignored. Like, they deserve it, okay? And if you guys have ever been, like, in some sort of way, <laughs> and, um, you know, like a... A situation where it's like more than one person involved intimately, this person could feel like maybe you don't like their gender as much. Okay, this is getting real specific. I'm just noting this because I'm saying this because I am noticing the same sex here. So I'm just channeling these messages. Don't shoot the messenger, all right? I feel like this person kind of feels as though, um, your connection, when you cut off communication, when you're not talking to them, yeah, definitely that you have other options and that you just probably don't want to be bothered for the day. Um, and they're going to wait for you to reach out. So if you, like, stop talking to them, this person might not reach out to you until you choose to communicate with them first. This It puts a lot of pressure on them. We have the Ten of Wands. They really do feel like, what the actual F is going on? Um, why are they acting like this? Or why are they playing me out? Why are they not getting back to me you know um they're not used to that because i feel like this person is used to people fondling all over them yes see we have the queen of swords they feel seduced by you um zodiac signs energy i'm seeing libra gemini aquarius libra aries leo sag okay could be some earth energy here as well with this ready card and all the screen that I'm seeing here is like you, how they feel when you ignore them. They just feel like, damn, I'm trying to love this person. I'm trying to be sweet. I'm trying to show myself to them, but they're numb. They could care less. They're focused on anything else but me right now. And they're a hot commodity. Like a lot of people want them. A lot of people want to be with them they get a lot of attention and like they just feel like this whirlwind of emotions there's a whirlwind here and it's like this whirlwind of emotions that they feel when you actually ignore them yeah um and it's just like something that they're not ready for they could feel like you've been through a lot and maybe you're accusatory but at the same time, I'm going to tell you something. If if you feel like this person changes, then it's worth it. Because this person's ego is huge. We have the, the sun and the hermit, okay? Yeah, this person ha has a huge ego. Like, they literally, honestly, they're so used to women and men, like, fondling all over them. It's like, ooh. You know, people usually sit at home and wish and conjure up energy to be with me. Like, ooh, look, I'm a god. And it's like, are you really a god? Like, are you really all that? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying, you got to watch out for this Leo energy. You know, yeah, this person definitely... I'm just getting a vibe, like, how they feel. We're just keeping it, we're keeping it Hanzo P, and we're sticking with that wave, that vibe. How they feel um, when you ignore their text or whatever. They feel like you're just playing a game. Like, you're not really serious. It does affect them, though. It definitely affects them, but they feel like you'll be back. Because, yeah, they are this sun energy. They're all that, like, and... Yeah, you're just a homebody. 
and you're playing mind games, especially with this mask. And then I'm noticing, I'm seeing here some shades. So maybe someone likes to wear sunglasses. Someone here definitely has blonde hair, brown hair. Um, someone is definitely a Leo. Okay, we got really strong um, Virgo energy as well. So let's kind of see what this person intuitively with the melanin and romance. Um, how are they feeling and what are they going to do next? How are they feeling about you? My pile number one. And what are they going to do next? How are they feeling about my pile number one? And what are they going to do next? Ooh. Okay. That was so many cards. I'm... Okay, I do see this commitment. This actually flew out of my hand, so... For some of you, you being cold-hearted and standoffish, you might actually make this person commit. They might offer you commitment. As far-fetched as that might sound, sometimes absence makes the heart grow fonder. This person apparently has a huge ego, okay? So, <laughs> I would just say, and look at here what fell over. And that's all I'm going to take. Family, um, they could introduce you to your fa to their family. And I feel like it's because you get this person some form of freedom. You know, um, that is your advice also at the same time. Like, if you get this person a lot of room and you don't sweat them and you ignore them, you match their energy. This person is feeling like, dang, I want to introduce you to my family. Like, that's that's really what I'm getting. Um, if this isn't happening for you right now, this is definitely in your near future. For some of you, this could be a biracial connection relationship, okay? There could definitely be some sort of distance between you guys at the time. Um, however, you know, what this person's gonna do next and, um, what are their intentions? Like, you know, um, yeah, they just... I think this person wants to be serious. It might not seem like it because you might spend quite a few nights, um, you know, distancing yourself with them with that seven of, seven of swords, but don't worry about it. You know, just keep doing you. The seven of feathers, just be like a feather, you know, be like the wind. Don't feel tied down into getting into routines. Don't like, don't go from this reading and just start overthinking the situation and thinking of timelines just be free go with the flow go with the energy yeah this person definitely um they could be serious about you so if you feel like you know creating some sort of boundary is going to help your relationship yep you just got a little hunk okay from the universe from my spirit guides to yours so I'm really loving that and I almost want to say like I'm going to leave it but for some reason I am getting the vibe that I want to pull a card to see what your person like what they want to say. I find that when I when I use this deck in my personal readings um they love it. So I'm going to just continue with the same format and see what this person wants to say to you, if they could, this would be just a confirmation, something that you already know, or um, something that you need to know that will definitely resonate with you. All right. So what do they want to say and some advice? Thank you. Mm, you hurt me, but that's okay, I guess. So, yeah, you definitely hurt this person. You probably have been through a lot of things with this person. And this person has definitely hurt you. And they definitely want your forgiveness if that's the case. So, if you feel guided to forgive this person, go ahead and forgive them. Give them a second chance if it's okay. I mean, I don't condone certain things. So, you know, trust your spirit and always do what's led. But if you actually hurt this person by ignoring them, it's okay with them. I would say just don't do it again um, because I'm looking at this reach out reverse and I feel like it could definitely make this person kind of shut down and maybe like want to like slow down communication. But um, eventually, yeah, I do feel like they will 
reach out, but if you do it first, that's what I'm getting. Um, and this person's definitely thinking about reaching out, even though that was in reverse. I feel like they are thinking of reaching out. They just, they're just, oh my gosh, they're just so sensitive right now. That's what I'm getting. I feel like this person could definitely be feeling heartbroken. This was something that it was a major transition, okay? Um, it was a major wake up call with this number nine, okay? Um, yeah, it could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, it could be any sign. But yeah, just give them some time. They're going to reach out. You know, they could be licking, licking their wounds. Um, if they don't reach out and you feel guided to reach out to them, you should reach out to them. Because I feel like maybe you might have done something. I don't know. Maybe this person can't handle, you know, maybe they can't handle ditching what they give out if if that makes sense because this person kind of treats you like you know like your family and they you could even feel like they're showing you your their bad side too soon anyways i'm just feeling guided to leave it here if this resonates with you and you love this you like this you want to see more don't forget to press like 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 share subscribe comment and let me know what your intuition is telling you about this reading and i'll see you soon until next time namaste peace and love okay pile number two Ooh, pile number one was like very clear messages coming through if you chose this amethyst crystal, this is your pile. How do they feel when you ignore them? Um, oh, wow. They're playing with your heart like a grand piano. So, yeah, they definitely feel like you're just, you're, you're doing this intentionally. We have a relationship evolving to the next phase. Okay, and rise. So, I am noticing... The two butterflies in this reading is sticking out to me the most. So I kind of feel like, yeah, with this relationship evolving to the next phase that we have healing, um, healing the inner child growth. I feel like you inflicting some sort of pain on this person is helping them to evolve spiritually okay it's like you wake their spirit up you show them that you're not a caterpillar but yet a butterfly you show them that you're someone who deserves to be treated with respect um Yeah, because I definitely get the idea that this person was playing games with you. I feel like this person was playing you like a fiddle, you know? And maybe you had to cut them off. Maybe you had to put them in your in their place for that reason. Now, this person in turn feels like they get what they give with you. So, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Okay, so we have the Six of Swords in reverse. Um, six of Feathers, but it's the Six of Swords, okay? This is romantic energy. This is like um, when a cat leaves their home or whatever, they always come back, okay? Um, the number eight could be significant for some of you. The number six could definitely be significant. Bolts, transportation, long distance, any of that could be significant um the six of swords reverse yeah this person feels like you'll you'll be back or they're gonna come back this is just temporary um wow the emperor in reverse i don't feel as though this person really likes that idea they feel like quite possibly like do i need to go and I, I, you know what i'm hearing i'm hearing actual channel message i should just go back to my player ways like, I should just go back to, like, being a player. I should just go back to, like, 
whatever because I've been like being nice to this person this person is controlling and I feel like they feel when they come in town when they come around you're just supposed to drop everything everybody for them Woo. okay I don't know if it's this person um or the channeling that's giving me a headache right now. But I definitely feel like, yeah, mm-mm, uh-uh, no. No, thank you. Um, yeah, they feel entitled to, in some sort of way, they feel entitled to your energy, okay? Um, there we go, Ten of Pentacles. Now, this could actually be someone that you're with, um... Hopefully, this isn't someone who's in a marriage with someone else, okay? That could be the case, but not for all of you. For some of you. Anyways, yeah. Um, or this person could feel like you are spending time with your family or you choose something that is really significant. Family is coming through really strong with this Ten of Roses over them, okay? You're choosing your family over them and yeah that's how they feel you're choosing your career over them um how do they feel when you ignore them wow this is funny because this did come up in pile two this is the seven of candles okay seven of wands i just feel like this person feels like they want to put their guards up they want to play hard to get to they want to match your energy it's like you're not talking to me okay fine i'm not talking to you and especially if you're telling this person that you want something serious this person's like oh if you want something serious then you wouldn't be playing games with me then you wouldn't be playing with my heart like a grand piano you know um because that's what that says here so that's the vibe i'm getting all right for you pile number two dang that's so crazy and that's so messed up you know it's it's heartbreaking when people put their guards up okay let's see why are they you know what what makes you what makes you want to like put this person on pause why are you feeling like you want to ignore this person Okay, because you know this person likes to flaunt what they have and they act like they're so happy being single and also you could be happy being single you could be like feeling really independent and at times like if this person plays a mind game with you if they play some type of game with you with this nine of pentacles nine of roses you like whatever you know what i'm saying you're like whatever 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 like don't don't try to play the player okay the player is getting played by the player or you know it's nothing about being a player it's more like you know i'm uninterested in childish games four of cups like i'm so uninterested four of shells i'm so uninterested i'm so uninterested in childish games either we're gonna like, like this relationship is gonna evolve and you're gonna stop coming over and leaving and doing whatever with this knight of wands you know, either you're going to stop doing that or it's just not going to work out. It's not going to work out, like, between us. That's that's how you're feeling, you know? Um, and that's why you block this person. So, let's just get a little bit more of how are they feeling about you blocking them. Um, honestly, when you block them, that just makes them want to spend more time with you. Your timing is perfect because it's like at a time when they, they they might be about to ask you out or ask you to go on some sort of trip or vacation with them. We do have the temperance card here. Um, they feel like it could be something spiritual and they know that they hurt you. The nine of cups here and we also have the seven of pentacles. So yeah, they just feel like they need to invest more. They need to work harder. They're not working hard enough, okay? So don't be surprised if this person actually tries to 
put in more work, tries to reach out to you more, tries to spend more time with you, tries to get to know you on a deeper level. Don't be surprised if that person starts to do that. And also like, yeah, compare your past people. Like they're gonna show up and they're, they're gonna show out. Uh, especially if they're really into you because when you do this, you make them remember that they need to work harder, that they haven't done enough. You know, your love is worth so much you know what i mean like it's just worth so 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 much um i'm really loving this energy this is such a really loving and sexy energy at the end it's like it's new so for some of you this could be fairly new like after some sort of heartbreak you meet this person right um just be careful you know this person could possibly be showing signs of narcissism okay we do have the knight of cups he can be charming but it's like it needs to last you know it need there needs to be a bit a bit more um than what they're giving the knight of cups is cute it fits the beginning of a relationship or some sort of rekindling but it needs to evolve and it needs to have more depth so this person just kind of like you know i just feel i'm hearing the energy of like i'm trying i know i hurt you but i'm trying because i've been hurt so there could definitely be a lot of mirroring going on between the two of you and this connection cancer pisces scorpio energy coming through um taurus virgo capricorn sagittarius really strong aries leo sag really strong aries okay really strong gemini and libra aquarius i forgot to mention them this per this person wants total submit su submission with you and it's because they feel like they have some sort of deep soulmate connection with you or um, maybe you've known this person for a long time. This could be a childhood crush or something like that. They just, I don't know, they miss you. So I think that they miss you when you do this, but it also it pisses them off. And it makes them really extremely jealous. And I'm, for some of you, I feel like they could even hook, hook up with other people. Okay, yeah, look at that. They Because they want you to be submissive to them. Like, they legit want you to, like, bow down. But you reverse that shit, okay? <laughs> you reverse that shit. And you got them bowing down to you. And I'm really done with these butterflies, okay? Butterflies are significant. Some of you are definitely going to be seeing a lot of butterflies um this is the king of swords this is gemini aquarius libra but it doesn't have to be um you definitely got this person <laughs> um wrapped around your rope wrapped around your pinky finger um just wrapped around you and yeah i don't think that it was easy to get this person to be in this submissive state and this submissive position because I do feel that this is someone who is um, very well known, like sought after. Like a lot of people want to be with, you know, and it's like you got this person on their knees, like you got them. Your foot is on them. Like what the heck? It doesn't matter if you're a masculine or a feminine. It's like this is my bitch. That's what I'm hearing. I feel like you. Th <laughs> it's so funny like why is it taking so long to channel this um I, I literally just heard like yeah this is my bitch like they feel like your bitch i'm your bitch i'm your little bitch like you treat me like your little bitch <laughs> you know that's so hilarious who is this what is going on especially with communication it's like you you fuck this person up every single time in communication it's just like you're always right and you just you're so witty and you just say things that are just like what did they just say what did they just do are you serious right now you know definitely this person you make them nervous you make them very nervous like they i'm i'm, I'm actually kind of like i'm kind of feeling this energy okay 
let's just see i need to calm down because i just got real excited for y'all right now <laughs> yes own that shit like own it all right don't let them own you own it all right <laughs> own who you are too like own your power take your power back i'm hearing you won't break my soul all right say yes okay could be dealing with a virgo all right so let's just see um What's this person going to do next? How are they feeling? What are they going to do? Um, you know, next. Okay. Seduction. This person's going to try to seduce you. Or they could flaunt, you know, that other women are interested in them. And other men find them to be so hot. Like, just play a little mind game. Um, what is your advice? What are they going to do? What are their intentions? And what is your advice? All right. What are they gonna do? What are they gonna do next? Ooh, expect this person to, they're gonna catch you off guard. They might surprise you with some roses. They might actually even pull up on you, all right? Um, I am noticing the eyes are not being seen here. And I do notice that there's two other people. So, you know, they might try to act like they're interested in somebody else. But it's like, it's super whack. Like, because you fly as hell. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, whatever. Okay. They might try to bait you, like, in some sort of way. Like that. Um, but, yeah. They're going to get emotional, too. Yeah, expect this person to get emotional with you. Be like, be like, oh, like, I didn't expect to fall in love with you. I didn't expect for that. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Um, was, um, okay, they might do something dumb or stupid, okay? Or try to come at you, like, on some spiritual talk, on some, like, recommending some spirituality. It's like boy okay you schooling me i'm schooling you they might use their children in some sort of way um to get your attention all right um or they just might reach out and be vulnerable with you because children can be vulnerable as well just be on guard with this person let's say let's see what they want to say and maybe some advice for you to take away what do they want to say and some advice for my pile number two. Hmm. Wow. Okay. So we did get three cards. I'm in so much pain. I'm too afraid to talk to you. I meant what I said. So. Um, this person definitely, if you cut off communication with them or you're not talking to them, um, they don't believe you. They don't believe that you meant what you said. And, um, they're hoping that you would change their, their, your mind about them. They're hoping that you will change your mind about them and that you will take them back. And that you will understand about their childhood wounds. Because I'm getting this energy because of this. The Six of Cups and this I'm in so much pain. This is something like from their childhood that needs to heal. And maybe being in contact with you or being around you is helping them to bring up that energy for some sort of healing. Right? But there needs to be some sort of cycle that stops. And... Um, if you said to them that you're done, this person's dying and yeah, they're probably not going to say anything to you because they feel like you meant what you said. So if you want to talk to them, you might want to reach out to them. I'm getting that more strongly than I am for pile number one. So that's my message to you. If this resonates with you and you like this, you want to see more, press like, 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 share, subscribe, subscribe, click the notification bell and... Let me know what your thoughts are about this reading down in the comments. Okay, what is your intuition telling you? And I'll see you soon. Until next time, peace and love. Namaste. Hi, Pile 3. If you chose this green adventuring crystal, 
Welcome back. Um, let's see. How do they feel when you ignore their text? We have, uh, when you ignore their text, their, their any form of communication, when you feel like you're not interested in them, you could care less. You're minding your own business, not worried about them. We have seduction and we have home. Okay, um, honestly, right away, what I'm getting from this reading is that this person, they, they always meet new people. A lot of people are attracted to them. So they just kind of feel like, okay, you're always going to come back home. They feel like you're always going to be there. Even if this is, especially if this is a person you've been on again, off, off again with, they feel like, even if you flirt, even if you check out anybody else or whatever, you're always going to come back to them. Now, this person does feel like, for some of you, this person does feel like whatever, you know? <laughs> Someone's always throwing themselves at them, okay? However, I do feel that the core of this person's value is stability, and being a family-oriented person, someone who likes home, okay? Um, this could be you also reminding them of something in their childhood. Like, maybe I'm hearing, like, you know, kind of how their mom would treat them. You know what I mean? Give their attention elsewhere. This person just kind of feels like you're always going to be there. You might not like how they are or some of the things that they do, but they're always going to be there. And maybe you're just playing a little game with them. I don't necessarily feel like this person is worried that somebody else is going to catch your attention. I feel like this person is cocky. Um, but hey, I mean, look, we do have the nine of swords. So this is the nine of feathers, nine of swords. Yeah, this kind of gives me the vibe. I'm not going to lie. They do get a little bit stressed out because that just flew out. So maybe they're fronting. Maybe they might go and flirt with other people, talk to other people, be a little bit shady. But at the end of the day, it's like you're the one that has this strong hold on them. This is the Knight of Swords. They know if you find out, it's going to be on. So I definitely don't get that this is something that they're going to openly do in front of you in terms of flirting or let you know about the flirting or something like that right so anyway with this nine of swords i definitely get the vibe that this person is worried they're worried about you possibly you know moving on they're worried about the connection why is the nine of swords here for this person's feelings yeah three of cups nine of cups even though they're their shells this is the cup energy um definitely because this three of cups talks about third party interference okay and then we also have this seduction here so yeah i do feel like this person they could involve other people or maybe they thought about it and they're scared that something might happen but overall i do feel that this person and this is kind of similar to pile number one i feel like this person is worried about you maybe just deciding to be a single choosing to be with someone else especially if you do this for long periods of time or if you've done this to this person more than once because the knight of swords has given me a feeling you see how she has him tied up and bound <laughs> Um, could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. That's how you make them feel. Like, they can't even get a word in edgewise. Like, what should I do now? They need to come up with some new ideas, some new tricks. Some of them may, may resort to, to making you jealous, okay? But you know what I'm hearing? Somebody won't just want me to say it. Just admit it. Admit it. This person... They are afraid that you're going to meet someone else, okay? They are afraid of that, especially if they haven't told you, and especially if they act cocky. Just know that deep down inside, it's the other way around, okay? That's not how they're really feeling. Yes, look at this. Look at this. Because the Wheel of Fortune is here. Look at all of those suitors involved, okay? 
Look at this. They know when, like, you go out, you get a lot of attention. A lot of people are interested in you. A lot of people find you attractive. This is Jupiter energy. This is um, Sagittarius energy. Could also be Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus energy as well. Okay. Um... Yeah, this person just kind of sees you as some like they want to work things out, which you definitely could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, expect some form of communication. So whenever you pull back your energy, this makes this person want to talk to you more. It's almost as if like less is more. <laughs> it's like, okay, if you ignore this person, yeah. It totally throws off their day. We got the moon in reverse here. They don't know what to expect. And it keeps them on their toes. And that's a good thing. Um, they could definitely be admiring you in some sort of way. But maybe not letting you know that they actually like that. But definitely there's some strong fear and insecurities coming up with this nine of feathers. And this moon card in reverse. Okay. Strong feelings of insecurity. Even It could even be abandonment issue. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing because sometimes some people need to be left on red. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not even kidding. Oh, wow. Okay, look at this. Aries, Leo, Sag, Libra energy coming through. We do have the justice. Um, for some of you, yeah, they feel like they deserve it. They deserve it. And especially if this is new, if this is a newer connection, then, and they're like just getting to know you, it's like, dang, that dark side, you know, you got them feeling a little bit green here, a little bit green with envy, okay? This person, they're envious, especially if you are bisexual or you're into, you know, you have an open mind, you're open-minded with your sexuality. This, that makes this person feel incredibly insecure, but they also feel in a way that they deserve it. Maybe they treated you some type of way. So why would you leave this person on red? Okay, why would you have to stop communication, stop talking? Why would you want to do that? Um, it could be that this party, this person parties a little bit too much. This person's out in the streets a little bit too much, having a little bit too much fun. Okay, living the fast life is what I'm hearing. Let's just get another one. Oh, yeah. A lot of ups and downs, okay? Too many moon cycles and not really seeing that much of a change, a difference. The karmic cycles are wearing you down. They're laying you out. They got you stressing out. Like, it's just too much. It's like the, it's like you're missing out on the world. Like, this person sometimes, like, it's, it's like they're in and out of your life so much and or they're just playing so many games and also for some of you this could be a long distance relationship that's so whack like you know what i mean i don't like seeing this world card in reverse it's like oh you know this revolving door type of energy the world card can also talk about you know especially in reverse talk about someone coming back around again and then you got the moon in reverse and you got the tower i mean come on you know at least the tower is in reverse okay this could be baggage from their past relationship that makes you feel like that also if that is the case let me know um yeah see what i'm saying in and out knight of wands like I, you're just like Somebody here needs to grow up. We need to get serious. I need to be in a stable, committed relationship with someone who's not playing games. So, hey, I'm just saying, some of these piles are kind of sounding a little similar, but this one is a little bit different because I feel that this one is... It's, a, it's, it's also a lack of communication as well. The Eight of Wands in reverse. And this could also be a long distance connection or relationship, okay? Yeah, this Eight of Wands is in reverse. And it's just like, what? Like, can't get the communication right. And they don't like that. They don't like... Um, they don't like being not being able to talk to you. It throws off their day. It throws off their feng shui, I'm hearing. I don't know if this person is, like, spiritual. It throws off their chi, their zen. Um, this person's actually kind of funny. Let's just see really quick. I'm just going to pull two more cards um, and see how do they feel um, when you ignore them. Okay, because we know how. We know now. Oh, I love it. Okay, yeah. It's just like, oh, you're too busy for me. Two of roses in reverse. 
um you're too busy for me they they are like demanding they feel like this is so dysfunctional especially if you guys are family <laughs> ah, they feel like this is so dysfunctional like you're ignoring me like you need to figure out how to make time for me it pisses this person off they don't like it okay so if they try to get you back or play some type of revenge then i guess you know why you know i'm, I'm telling you the truth I'm telling you what's up. I'm never going to steer you wrong. So let's just see. What are they? I'm parched. Hold on. Let me take a sip. Let's just see what are they. What are their intentions? How are they feeling about you right now? What are they going to do next? Right? Ooh. Okay, I don't read these in reverse, but we do have date night. So this person, yeah, I feel like with this night, night of wands, yeah, they might want to wine and dine you, try to spend some time with you, okay? <laughs> I'm getting that vibe coming through. What are they going to do next and what are their intentions? Okay. I'm hearing, I'm sorry, so... Yeah, see, look at that quality time. They're going to spend some quality time with you. I mean, honestly, you really do deserve it. You deserve to have the life that you want. You should. You deserve to have the relationship you want. You deserve to have the love that you want, okay? So if you want quality time with this person, this is what you are manifesting. This is what's coming through for you in this connection. If you've been holding back your energy and wondering how do they feel about it, it's making them want to spend time with you. It's making them want to take you out to dinner and Netflix and chill after. <laughs> okay, that's what this is giving me. And I'm happy for you. That's amazing. That's really good. Let's get some more. What are their true intentions? Okay, what are they what are their true intentions? What do they want to happen? What are they going to do next? Oh, okay. <laughs> Honestly, this person really does want to humble you. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Um, I can't do that. This person... <sighs> I just get the feeling that that's what they want to do. They want to get you back because you got this person feeling tied up and now they want to humble you. They want to they want to get you back for keeping them tied up, you know, having them stressed out. Like where you been? <laughs> they want to show you who's the boss. OK, <laughs> physically, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what they want. All right. One more. Then we're just going to see. Oh, yeah. So just expect this. Um, this this could be something that you don't see coming. This could also be a surprise. Middle of the deck. Yeah. Especially this, if this is long distance, this person has been away. Expect this person to come back and see you, surprise you, roll up on you. Um, I'm hearing that I'm going to choose you. I've already chosen you. I'm always choosing you. So, yeah, this person, they got some serious decisions and choices to make. And I think that it has to do with you because I don't feel that this person wants to to lose you. Right. So if this person was going to say anything, what would they say? What would they say? And let's just get some advice. Okay, if this person was going to say anything, what would they say? I told you. I told you. I don't want to lose you. Period. Okay. So, expect them to prove to you, to show to you, to let you know that they are thinking of you. If they are giving you, like if they're not responding because you're not speaking to them, if they're not saying anything, just be patient. This person will come back to you. This person's gonna reach out to you. You don't have to do anything. They feel like you were right for giving them the cold shoulder, for ignoring them. They respect that, they want, look, Ace of Wands, they do want a fresh 
start with you and I need more balance. This person feels like you give them balance in their life. And yeah, there's there's a lack of balance in their life. I did see that two of roses reverse. And so that's telling me that, yeah, this is coming up twice. Something to do with managing their time. And I'm open to compromise. This is the two of cups. So yeah, this person's definitely going to... <laughs> they're going to compromise because they don't want to lose you. You get what I'm saying? So you don't have to do anything. I feel that your advice is to trust and allow the process that you made the right decision. You made the right decision to create a boundary with this person and they're going to respect your private, um, respect your boundaries and they're going to come towards you because you're showing them that you deserve respect by taking this action but as always do what's led do what's led do what's led thank you so much for watching pile three if you like this let me know what you think about this in the comments how is your intuition telling you what is your intuition telling you about this reading um press like like share subscribe and i'll see you next time until then namaste peace and love